welcome to the Backyard Machine Shop. Well guys, we're actually in the backyard of the Backyard Machine Shop. So what we're doing back here is, um, I'm going to call this day one, but it's actually been a couple of three days. I've started clearing the property, cleaning up a little bit back here um, for a new shop. Uh, it's just going to be a simple pole barn shop, um, eventually going to be closed in. And right now the plans are to, uh, it's going to be used as a rebuild shop. This is where machinery is going to go and um, cars and whatever else I need to work on will come back here and, and, and um, get repaired and rebuilt and then moved into the machine shop or sold or however we plan on doing it. Now, the new shop, and I'm going to turn you around. The, uh, here's the old shop. Here's the actual shop. It's, it's, um, it's 72 feet long by 24 foot wide. Uh, this lean-to on the back I built whew, back in the, probably in the um, 90s. And uh, it's going to be torn all out and cleaned out from under. And it's going to have fresh concrete all the way to the same level as the actual shop. Now, this end of the shop here, you don't see. It's actually the old machine shop. But now I use it mainly for storage. And it's, it's really full. The, uh, the other end down there is actually where the machine shop is and it's about half full of storage too and um i got to uh we got to do something with that so this is the purpose of the new shop what's going to happen is this new shop like i said is going to be a rebuild shop it's going to be a simple pole barn closed in with a couple of big roll-up doors and a good a nice concrete pad to load and unload machinery on um and then the the old shop is going to be the line shaft shop and the machine shop will stay the machine shop. So the new shop is going to actually, it's not going to tie into the, the shop. I'm going to actually have a driveway through here to where I can pull trailers through to, uh, to load and unload. And then the driveway is going to come wrap around and out in this area so i've got a lot more cleaning to do i took down if you look over there there's a big a big uh a big old oak tree we took down today and this is the leaves and the mess from it and um we're we're steady working on it i got to get back here with a backhoe and dig some stumps and a few other things now i'm standing i'm pretty much standing at the corner of the new shop um, it's going to be 20 feet between the two shops and um, the new shop's going to run down uh, about i don't know there's a pipe laying on the ground down there and a couple of stumps but it's going to be 50 feet or so that way and then um and it's going to be 24 foot wide so it's going to be 24 i think by 48 what we we had talked about and um i'm gonna have to bring in whew, probably I don't know, 20 truck loads of, of dirt to, to fill everything I want filled. Now this area back here, I used to keep it mowed and bush hog, but over the last, since I got hurt in 07, and the tractor actually died on me shortly after that, I kind of let it grow up. So there's a, there's a lot of little scrub trees back here. Um, you can see some of them left back in that corner. And then a lot of trees over here that that uh, have, have grown up, gotten too big, and actually have overran the place. So I'm gonna walk you back to, to about the where the shop's going to be. So um, All right, guys, so now we're we're at about the end of the shop. And uh, like I said, we got to put a lot of dirt in here. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, it's probably two and a half foot on this end. And this, just to say we're building uh, 1,200 square foot or 1,500 square foot, of, and we got to build it up two feet. That's over, um, that's 3,000 cubic feet of dirt. Uh, and divide that by 20, so about a about 100 yards, I think, or um 
something like that. So that's about 10 truckloads. Uh, we'll see when we do it. Now the other end of the shop is going to be about where that stump is. I don't know if you can see it, but or maybe just this side of that stump. And let's walk that way. All right, so we're we're near where the other end of the shop's going to be. Now, like I said, all of this. Um, it's going to have to be filled also because this is going to be a driveway coming in and there's a old pond back here um, that we probably need to clean up the brush around but this is going to be a driveway in and then coming around this corner we're going to have a driveway going in between the two buildings to uh to load and unload machinery this this pretty much back here is going to be trailer parking uh, i got to get the trailers out of the yard and i got so much of it that just need a place to do it, try to keep things neat around here. Um, so we're gonna walk over now. Now see, there's the backyard, uh, the back door that you typically see in my videos. So you can see the mess that this big oak had been doing on my shop. Look at the roof. I'm gonna have to do some repair up there. Um, like I said, all this is rotted. It's going to have to be replaced and, and, and fixed over just over the years. And um, that was a that was a pretty good size oak. Anybody need any firewood? I've got plenty of it right here. So there's the, the actual stump sitting back there. And um, Well, that's not the only place we've been cleaning up. If you look around the corner here, this is going to be the driveway. You can see the amount of limbs and trees and everything that uh, we've been trying to clean up a good bit here. We cut down several trees um, over the past few months, and we're going to have one hell of a fire eventually. All right, guys, so just a short video letting you know this is about the uh, new shop build uh, day one, and I hope to keep you updated as we go.